This video is going to cover practice tasks 1.3. The first step asks you to open up the backstage view to get to the title property and the subject property. So if you go to file and you're on info, then you're going to go into properties and you can go to advanced properties, which is what I personally like to do, um, or you can change the properties here, but sometimes they're not all listed. It asks you to change the title of the property to simple room design and then it wants you to change the subject property to room planner and then you're going to add keywords or tags color and style to the document so down here where it says keywords we're going to type in color and I'm going to do a semicolon and then we're going to put in style we're going to add ourselves as the author so you can put in your own name and then we're going to set the document status as draft. So we're going to go ahead and hit OK here. Whoops. And then we're going to go into um, the status over here on the right. And we're just going to type in draft. Then the next step is going to ask us to print the document using Microsoft Print to PDF printer uh, with the scaling set to two pages per sheet. So you don't actually need to print this out, but you need to go know how to do this in case you ever needed to. Um, I do not have my printer hooked up currently, um, but you can kind of see the different options that are available here, and it's asking you to select the Microsoft Print to PDF, so you can just click on that. And then we are looking for um, scaling set to two pages per sheet. And what this means is um, you can mess well, you can mess with all kinds of different settings in here. Um, this is going to have you print on one side or on both sides, printing specific pages or one page through another page, um, portrait and landscape, collated or uncollated, uh, margins, and here's where it's currently printing one page per sheet. So you can click on two pages per sheet, and then it asks you to save a copy of the document in the practice file folder as a file named my compatible that is compatible with Microsoft Word 2002. Um, so we're going to go now to save as, then hit browse and you need to navigate to your folder where you've been working in and we're going to type in my compatible and the Word document you're going to choose is going to be, I don't have a Word 2002 option here, so I'm just going to select an older version of Word. Um, I'm just going to go with Word 97 2003, and that's, that's acceptable, that's fine. Uh, and it actually pops up and gives you um, that document there, which is already in your files as um, the results file for this project, one of the results files. So you can just hit replace existing file, that's fine, or um, you can cancel. Either way, it doesn't matter. I'm only going to have you upload 1-3. Uh, um, the last step then talks about Outlook, and uh, most of you will not have Outlook on your computer, so we're going to skip that step. And then this completes Objective 1.3 Practice Tasks.